Hello everybody, welcome to another Zabbix video. This time we are talking about Zabbix map, how to use the Zabbix map as a source of trust and um, the use case can be sometimes uh, clients want to uh, have some sort of uh, network topology uh, about the infrastructure and we then uh, spend manual work to design Zabbix map. But uh, primar primarily, Zabbix map is like the the f first and maybe the only tool how uh, how to ensure what is the status of the infrastructure. Uh, in this video, I will talk about one of my favorite subjects: unsupported items, unsupported triggers. And the truth is that uh, most of the times, when we put data points inside the Zabbix map then uh, and if item becomes unsupported we are kind of losing the trust and the uh, same applies to the trigger if we put a trigger in in, in the map and suddenly trigger is unsupported then um, the map might show like the last status which was maybe it's online or active or or uh, yeah the, the point here is um, we are losing the trust and how can i ensure I can really trust Zabbix and in this uh, tutorial I will show good workaround how to make Zabbix map as trustable as possible. Let's start. Uh, the first thing uh, I will create a sample host which will be called endpoint and uh, inside this host there will be uh, macro, uh, which will be, be called end point. And also I will create value map on the fly. Uh, like zero is bad, one is up, something like that. Uh, zero down and uh, like status add. So this will be used for the inputs. Uh, the end, end point is there and uh, the to where to reach reach out let's have like blog zabbix.com uh, i will put this in the clipboard add now creating item and the first item it will be like simple check and i will use the ping type of mechanism so we will ping this macro and this can uh, report back integer numbers let's have end point update frequency uh, four seconds and that is everything add and this will uh, start to work very soon uh, actually I want to put the proxy server different so one proxy supports pinging now like how to put this data point into the map uh, it it um, we need like the host title end point I will keep that in the memory and then the item name is this ICM, I, I, I mean item key is ICMP ping endpoint. Uh, so copy and uh, actually let's put over here like forward slash uh, and um, copy this to the clipboard, copy, cancel. Now visiting the maps, map and let's create a map which will be called trust and add and edit add data point this is a host object i will uh, this is an image and uh, the way how to put extra info in the map so uh, we start with a curly parenthesis question mark last parenthesis open and then stuff from my clipboard uh, which must start with the forward slash as well so endpoint and item key and then parenthesis close which close the function last and then uh, curly parenthesis close. Okay, uh, status uh, is this. Uh, okay, apply and now sh clicking the button expand macro, click and the status is one. Uh, apply, close and update. I forgot to put a value map right on the item, click open the item, open the endpoint and at the bottom of page value map status uh, and update. Okay, now it should be in the map, click and let's open. And here you go, like we have element and we have like what is the current 
current status. Uh, let's try to change that macro uh, like to something unexisting. Here, right now, I'm pinging block that Zabbix, but what about some uh, unexisting IP address? So now this item key uh, eventually, very soon, <coughs> After 10 seconds, uh, it will start to ping that other uh, value from the macro. And uh, if it's not pingable, then the map should change the status. And here you go, down. Okay, and uh, let's, let's fall back, actually back to that uh, pingable type of thing, uh, like blogzabbix.com, update. And I will now, uh, like, uh, crash the scenario uh, in very soon, uh, like to put some um, unexisting uh, endpoint. And uh, the target is like uh, sometimes like there is DNS issues, and it will kind of crush this trust uh, in, in in the front of us. Let's refresh the page. So status is up. That's great. And now um, going back here and changing something unexisting like uh, blog uh, Zabbix222, there is no such domain, update, and here you go. Like right now the item is uh, in sitting in this state every four seconds, it tries to ping, and it will fail very soon because this guy will expand, expand to Zabbix222.com and uh, item is unsupported. And let's check what happens in the map. And in map, it still shows uh, that everything is fine. And if we check, like, the reason how it works is, like, we are using function last. And, um, yeah, it just asks, like, please give me the very latest value which is stored inside the database. And so it is misleading now. And, um, uh, yeah, we cannot trust the map anymore. Uh, by the way, like if you are the monitoring guy, a good um, uh, general um, rule to improve is there is an elegant functionality, alerts, internal actions. Uh, here we can like be uh, very uh, patriotic uh, about like the monitoring infrastructure and we can always like enable email notification uh, whenever some entity gets unsupported we receive the email or uh, if the trigger got unsupported we receive email so this is the uh, the, the, the most uh, like a, in a way like shortcut uh, to not have a, a complex setup if we pay high discipline to this functionality then we will not have this uh, problem with uh, untrustable map but right now I want to actually uh, guide uh, to, to show one workaround what if we don't have resources to to have a guy who works 24-7, uh, I mean, like, <laughs> uh, <coughs> sorry, during the working days, like, uh, to improve all the things. So the workaround is uh, interesting. Uh, what, what comes in my mind is uh, we can do, like, uh, we can have pre-processing, and pre-processing uh, can have, like, rule check for uh, not supported value, this one. Uh, so what to do, any error, and I can set like reset value to something interesting like minus one, uh, which would uh, deliver at least something inside the database. And minus one cannot be stored inside the integer table. So I will use now numerical float uh, data type. And that's it, update. And now this, go, this indication will go away very soon. Uh, what can I do uh, to, to make life more easier? Uh, we can set value mapping like what is the meaning of that minus one uh, here minus one and uh, uh, data collection uh, not working yeah that's update and now uh, let's see like item is uh, uh, like it's now supported because we have like a separate scenario how to deal if the, the host is not pingable and now when we visit the map, uh, maps, and here you go, data collection not working. Uh, yeah, excellent. Um, and l yeah, let's, um, uh, let's talk about triggers. So this is one scenario when we want to put <coughs> uh, 
some like uh, reference what is the situation about the service now um, uh, with the triggers uh, data collection uh, hosts triggers uh, create trigger and we will say like if this endpoint equals zero then it is um, uh, down okay uh, so that's one trigger uh, this is the bad news and uh, we can in the same time um, I, I will work in a combination with the, what I made previously I, I want to have a trigger object in a map which tells like what is the current situation uh, one, re one good reason why we want to have trigger object in map because it supports to change the icon uh, if situation is working it's one icon and when situ when it breaks it's a different icon okay so endpoint down we are targeting zero and let's set like um, yeah this I think this is enough update uh, add and let's create another one clone and say minus one uh, data collection um, not uh, war king and this will be different severity okay and uh, what I'm doing here like I'm designing trigger where it's uh, not overlapping like either it will be minus one so this can sit in the problem state or uh, if it's down then it targets the zero they both cannot coexist uh, okay, and now it's um, what's happening here. Okay, uh, data collection not working already. Uh, turn it green. Let's replicate everything inside the map as well. Edit, and there is a uh, object. Add, click, and trigger. And here, what I want to do is um, target like down. Oh my God! Uh, I think I will open in another tab click click triggers and I will have end point down and uh, end point different trigger name so it's more searchable image trigger and I will write end point click uh, that's one thing and end point um, end point and endpoint down add and we have two different triggers and yeah the beauty is here I can uh, change um, uh, icon uh, if it's working then uh, it's uh, something showing something and um, let's have like when it's working let's have party and when it's problem then it's ex having explosions uh, okay apply and um, close so this is one element reflecting the data collection. We can set it like right, like this. Apply and um, for this uh, situation and um, uh, and apply. Uh, so this is okay yeah it targets triggers uh, let's update and see the result uh, trust is the map oh and uh, yeah it's something <laughs> my explosion is is very big uh, let, let's uh, set back to that other one uh, host uh, I mean um, I want to have a pingable endpoint uh, like blog that update and we can wait for this to uh, normalize after four seconds or something this should go away uh, not yet uh, okay not yet and it goes away and if we visit the Zabex map again uh, then uh, situation is absolutely like party and uh, yeah that is uh, everything um, uh, this is everything for this video. If you find it helpful, give it a thumbs up and thanks for watching.